Welcome to this screencast from OnShot.net. Um, I'm going to continue our little uh, screencast series on teaching long multiplication using a second method uh, which is entirely guilt free. However, um, again, it's not a great way of using an interactive whiteboard just to pre warn you. However, it does show you how to use grids and then just a little bit on. Um, how children can interact with the uh, with the grid that they're being uh, shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new slideshow here, um, and we're going to try to show you how to do this particular long multiplication uh, sum using a different method. This is the traditional way of doing long multiplication: 23 multiplied by 47. I'm just going to show you a different way by setting up a grid. So setting up a grid kind of makes this a little bit more attractive to children. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a nice little square for the sum and what we'll do is we're going to duplicate it three times you can either right click and duplicate and what I'll do then is I'll duplicate Again, control D and move these guys down here until we have kind of a grid shape. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try 23. Uh, this is our grid and makes it look a little bit more attractive to children. And um, we're going to use this to do our sums. Now, again, it's not a great way of doing it, um, and I absolutely 100% apologize for it. What we do is uh, we have we divide the number 23 up into its tens and units, so 20. And 3. And then 47 as in 40. And 7. And basically, what we do then is we uh, can teach using this grid method as you, as you would on a normal whiteboard. Now, the advantage of this over, let's say, uh, a normal whiteboard is the ability really to to keep the grid and uh, use it again and again. It makes it look a little bit more attractive than uh, what you've drawn on, on a normal whiteboard yourself. Um, and again, to do just to show you the method of it, we multiply 20 by 40 to make 800. We multiply 40 by 3 to make. 120. I better not make a fool of myself here and get some of these sums wrong. We multiply 7 by 20, 140. And then finally, 7 by 3 is 21. And then the idea is just to add those numbers up together. So 800 uh, plus 120 is 920. 920 plus 140. Um, is 1060. 1060 plus 21 is 1081, which is our answer, I would hope, on the previous page. Excuse my handwriting. I'll go back to the thing just to prove that we got it right. 1081. So it's a nice, it's a really, really simple way of doing long multiplication. Not a great way of using an interactive whiteboard, but just for the attractiveness of, of the grid, um, it just shows you how to do something like that. And we can, uh, what we can do then is just get rid of any of the numbers pretty quickly, and uh, it's ready to start again. So I'm. Um, I suppose for interactivity purposes, I mean, so children can come up and, and write in their own numbers and, and work it out. Uh, some of them feel like they're cheating because this is such an easy method. And, and often, you know, I find that children don't use this method, even though I would feel it's the easiest way of doing long multiplication. It does work um, for every single long multiplication sum, and I believe it's easier than the traditional method. But anyway, I'll let you have some fun with that. Uh, you know now how to make grids. and. Um, keep those grids and use them again and again uh, for as many, for different sums. And in fact, in another uh, presentation, I'm going to keep this grid and we're going to use a different method of long multiplication to do the same sum as well. So we'll see you there.